I am Georgie Darcho and I work at the School of Mass and Stats here at the University of Sydney. And these lovely people have been uh, all visiting me this month. And I'm Duo Balmatan. I'm uh, from the University of Toronto in Canada. And I was formerly Georgie's advisor. Hello, I'm Nancy Sherrick. I'm a professor at Elon University and I was formerly Drawers Postdoc. Hi, my name is Jessica Liu. I'm currently a PhD student of Drawers. And also on this project is Tamara Hogan, who's my current PhD student. So the, the project is to find a topological interpretation for a problem in algebra, which is basically to solve a set of equations. So topological interpretations for these equations exist. Uh, one is due to Dora and myself, uh, which was in terms of uh, knots in four-dimensional space. And one is due to a group of researchers called uh, Alexei Kawazumi, Kuno and Neff, who uh, found a topological interpretation in terms of curves on a surface. So one of these interpretations is in uh, two dimensions and the other is in four dimensions. So that's a bit mysterious why these two things correspond, why they are the same. And uh, so we were wondering what they have to do with each other. And we still don't know that, but um, <laughs> this month we were working on an interpretation which is three dimensional with the hope that eventually it might be a bridge between the two and the four. That was a great description. Yeah. I'm like, wow, is that what we were doing? That sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, this project has been ongoing for a number of years now, but I think back in January, we started meeting quite regularly on Zoom, trying to ramp up this project in you know hopes for this summer to make it most productive. And I think the month we've had here was so much more productive than you know the months and months and months in advance of preparing for this. It's more fun, it's more productive, you get to go out to eat, it's like, you know, just all around better. Oh, oh yeah, COVID. That was so lovely. <laughs> it's so good to have uh, people back in person. I find these the summary time range of visits of the four or five, six weeks. I, I think that's a really productive amount of time to spend together. There's not that much that you can do in a week, but also after a certain amount of time, you can maintain that level of focus. So this three, four, five weeks really works for me. Bring a raincoat. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nancy Sherrick and I am starting a new position at Elon University in North Carolina. I just finished up a postdoc at ISERM up at Brown University and uh, before that I was a postdoc at the University of Toronto with Dror Barnatan. Uh, I sort of work, I'm branding it as topological algebra because algebraic topology is already taken, but I do a lot of algebraic things, so I like to work with equations and diagrams, but the motivation comes from topology. So in particular, I like to think about braid groups and representations of braid groups and sort of knot theory. So anything that you can draw that's all tangled up, but then turn that into an algebraic statement, that's, that's where I live. So I was originally supposed to come, I think, summer 2020. Uh, obviously that trip did not happen, um, but I'm very happy to be here and I've had an amazing time. I'm, I'm very tired. It was a very intensive month of work. Like we did so much mathematics while I was here. I'm about ready to sleep for maybe a week or so, but, um, but it's been great. So there's a group of five of us, so three visitors, one professor here at the University of Sydney and then a grad student that's sort of joint between the University of Sydney and Melbourne, so five of us. And um, we have a project that's been going for a couple years now. The project has sort of changed directions many times in the last month since we've been here. That's kind of the beauty of you know, a research project as you sort of make a discovery and that pivots and turns and kind of changes the question you work on. But this question I would say largely is there's this algebraic structure that some other people came up with that's called the Goldman Terai of Levi algebra. And it's sort of very algebraic and maybe has a description coming from geometry. And we were trying to find a new way to describe this algebraic setup. 
And the, the taking is from like three-dimensional topology. So thinking about knots in a handle body. So what is a handle body? You might think of a donut. That's an example of a handle body. So you want to think of not only the surface of the donut, but also like the filling. It's totally filled in. But you can imagine now that you have multiple donuts that are stuck together. So maybe you have a two-hole donut or a three-hole donut. So that's called a handle body. And then a knot inside a handle body would be like, imagine you're a little ant or something that lives like ate your way down into the donut. And now you're just like chewing around and making a big loop or a big knot inside the donut. And so that would be a knot inside this space. And so we were studying different operations you can do on these knots in a handle body and trying to give this sort of very tangible, three-dimensional, topological description of this other algebraic structure. Being in person. You know, Zoom, we've all gotten very good at having a virtual collaboration or doing, you know, basically take any sort of activity and now do it on Zoom. We've gotten good at that, but it really doesn't replace personal interaction. And I think the highlight for me is not only just like the joy I get from my collaborators, they're all really fun people. So being in the same space as them is just really fun and energizing for me. But the amount of progress we've been able to make in this time is like exponentially more than the last two years that we've been meeting on Zoom regularly. Like you just, you can get so much more done when you can have several brains in the same space. Like there's something about being in the same room that you just can't recreate. Um, and this visit really, really helped us make a lot of progress on our project. I guess I would just really love to thank SMRI for inviting me and having me here. I've really enjoyed the trip and having the funding to come here has been really great because as a postdoc, I'm often not employed over the summer. And so to have an institute be able to pay for that trip and make that happen really makes a big difference in my personal life. Um, so I'm very grateful for this experience and thank you so much for having me. So, hi, I'm Dror Barnatan. I'm a professor of mathematics at the University of Toronto in Canada. Well, I do knot theory from a very algebraic perspective and uh, with a lot of interest in computation. And especially I want to do the, my computations efficiently. So that often means thinking about uh, clever algebraic ways to, to do computations more quickly. This visit to Simri, I'm doing things which are a little bit off topic for me. And it's actually the relationship between three-dimensional knot theory and plane curves. So basically between three dimensions and two dimensions. And the reason I'm interested is because a few years back, in work with Jujana Dancho of uh, the University of Sydney, we related a similar question to uh, a problem in four dimensions. So it seems that there is this one particular algebraic problem called the kashiwara vern problem, which arises in two dimensions and probably also in three dimensions. And we also know that it arises in four dimensions. And we don't quite know the relationship between the three places with, where it arises. So we're trying to study that. So we think we have a better understanding of the relationship between the three-dimensional aspect of our problem and the two-dimensional aspect of our problem. We believe we have a better understanding than, than there was before. It's still a bit unstable. We may be wrong. You know, math takes proof and verification and we're in the process. You know, with luck, this visit will be the seed for a few papers on this relationship. <laughs>